Hi, hello. Welcome back to another exciting, exciting video. I think this one is gonna be freaking dandy. So long story short, I came out this morning and I did not film, go figure, but my wipers have finally showed up on my local lake and I live scoped the absolute shit out of them earlier. So for the next minute and a half, you guys enjoy this clip that I'm gonna drop in right here and see what I was working with, because it was insane. Got him. So now that you guys have got to see what that actually looks like, I came back out this afternoon to try and replicate the pattern. I'm marking fish again. So I'm gonna try and rig my phone up on the front graph to see if I can actually film this live in real time. Some dickhead commented on another video. He's like, oh, what's the point of making a live scope video if you can't show us what's on the screen? Well, dude, I don't know. I'm, I don't make these videos to please you or anybody. I do what I can, so sorry, not sorry. But anyway, we're out here. Winds picked up quite a bit. It was a lot nicer earlier when I was out here. Things are kind of weird now, like clouds have rolled in. Wind, waves, everything, but I marked some fish when I rolled up here, so let's just get everything rigged up and uh, see what we can try and do. Hey, so guess what? Go figure. Uh, I started record, or I, I dropped my bait down without recording, and here I've got a fish on. So I'll kind of show you guys on my phone what's exactly happening, but there are a ton of fish down there and I've already got one on. I was like literally trying to keep that bait away from those fish. Oh my God, what a slob. My GoPro is kind of giving me fits and I was trying to get recording, trying to get everything going, but I marked fish. So obviously I'm gonna start recording. Holy balls. Oh. Well, I just knocked him off with the net. But that being said, these fish are active again. So anyway, whatever, uh, GoPros suck. Everything sucks. Everything is hectic when we're wiper fishing. I'm just trying to make a damn good video. Uh, so we're right on the edge of a river channel. These fish I just saw are actually in the river channel. They're also outside of the river channel. So yeah, they're just kind of everywhere right now but they are so glued down to the bottom right there. Like you guys can see, you can see my bait kind of hopping around and those fish are just like swimming around super close to the bottom. Oh my God, I got him. Oh, <laughs> did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Oh my God, that was unreal. That fish shot out of nowhere. And I put my bait right in front of his face and I got him. These things are crazy, crazy active right now. Unreal. I mean, it's not unreal because I did this all morning. I just wasn't filming. <laughs> Hope you guys saw that on my phone. But as you can see, there are still fish down there. Tons of them, tons of them. Don't go in the trolling motor, please. I'll show this one to you guys. Get my bait back down there as soon as possible. That's a good one. Get in the net. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's what we've been waiting for all year. So I just tried to super glue one of these fins from these stupid jigging wraps. Like, Rapala, you make the most garbage product and expect to charge $8.99 for that thing. I have an entire bag of these broken ass things. So 
we're gonna have to swap that one out but there you go 52 degree cold weather kansas hybrid striped bass hopefully somebody talks shit on how i release the fish i'm having fun gotta put a new jigging wrap on bye well that was uh that was epic that was awesome let me just show you guys what's going on on the uh, depth finder down there still a significant amount of fish so i'm getting my bait as fast as i can down there to those fish as you guys can see i'm actually doing it right this time we're just kind of spot lock right now these fish are not in the vicinity of my bait but they're around i mean they're really just kind of swimming through the channel here i'm going to come up and get that one right there watch watch here he comes oh he turned oh here he comes game over come on eat it wipers are insane on live scope it is so insane to see how out of their minds these fish are when they're chasing after a bait. Come on. They just appear out of freaking nowhere. Here it comes. Here it comes. Eat it. Sometimes they like a dead stick too, literally. They sometimes like this bait just sitting there. Look at how many fish there are right there. That's not even a lot. You guys should have seen it earlier. You saw that video clip I posted. Oh, he just smacked it. Smacked it. They all kind of disperse and then they come back. Eat it. Oh my God, he smacked it again. You guys saw that. And then he spooked, obviously, because he tasted metal. Another one, right on it, right on it. Oop, he spooked too. Come on. Don't do this to me now. Bring it up to that guy. Oh yeah, I want him. That's a big fish. Eat it. Got him. Got him. Yes. That was so sick. Oh, it's a big one too. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm so happy they're still eating. Oh, that was the sickest eat ever. Oh, big one, yep. Big. Choked, 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 choked. Yep. Chicken wrap is gone. It's in the net. Oh my God, this one broke off too. I literally just broke off another bill. So, hey guys, do me a favor. Do not buy jigging wraps, okay? If you're gonna fish for walleyes, great. Or use them for whatever, great. But if you're gonna fish for anything that eats a bait this hard or pulls this hard, do not buy them. Absolute trash. Look at that fish. Woo! Big, 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 starched up cold water fish, palming it. Bye. Okay. But yeah, look, that's the second one. First fish after that last one that I just replaced and the, the fin is broken off. So sorry, Rapala, you suck. Okay, well, I've got one more uh, purple one left. I have not restocked my jigging wraps for the year just yet because seemingly out of nowhere as usual these fish have just shown up i have searched all over this lake all the way up into the river that feeds it and have not found them until this morning when they were just they just showed up so here we go sending that bait down you guys probably can't see it just yet got to get it right in the cone there it is. I've got it so dialed in, you guys can literally see my line. Oh, bringing it right in front of a fish right there. Yep, he swam right by it. Get it back down. Oh, he turned, he turned, he wants it. Oh, come on. Wipers are out of their mind. It's so fun. 
to watch them and how they react to baits like this. There's a big one right there. Right behind it. Come on, eat. Eat. Oh, he spoo oh my god, he's on it. And he's off, he's still on it. Come on. Choke it. Choke it. How do you want it? Do you want it dead stick or do you want it popping? Keep his interest. Come on. He's still there. He's literally doing circles around this bait right now. We're gonna go chase down that school right there. They're about 30 feet out in front of the boat. I'm dropping to some fish right there. Oh my God, should be game over. Game over, come on, eat it. I'm just drifting right now, so we're not getting a very good picture. Oh, he touched it. Yep, he spooked too. I'm trying to move the uh, live scope pole around a little bit so I can keep looking at my bait. It's not working very good because the wind is pushing us. God, there's some big fish down there, man right in front of one right there come on I mean, it's just behind us now just spot lock us right here come on eat it Man, I dropped it right on his head and he didn't turn. There we go, come on. Got him, got his ass. Look at that, look at that. This one doesn't feel quite as big yet. I don't know, oh, nope, he's awake, he's awake, he's awake. Oh yeah. <laughs> and look at all the fish still down there. Look at all those fish still down there. Let's get this one in. Oh, I'm so happy. I just like literally jerry rigged up this rig to get my phone set up on it for you guys so that you could see. And it's awesome. It's working out great so far. Hopefully, maybe. Oh God, he's all the way in the back of the boat. Yep, 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 yep. Barely hooked. Not a giant. Still a nice one. God, they're all footballs right now, though. They are all footballs. Thankfully, did not break the bill off this one. Hopefully, you guys got to see that one eat there. Perfect specimen, probably five pounder. Nice one. Get him back. Get this J wrap out of the net. Get back down, get a couple more. All right, well. Just kind of spot locked out here in the deep water. I'm just still kind of searching around. I want the most concentration of fish and the biggest ones, obviously. That one looks pretty good. I'm gonna send the bait down. Spot lock here, send it right down to the fish. I'm finally recording on my phone. Come on, turn. Turn. Oh yeah, big fish right there. Come on, turn on it. That one's gonna, oh, he's nosing it. Oh, he's nosing it. Oh, he's nosing it. Oh, he's on it. Come on. He's just looking at it. You want a dead stick? Got him. Got him. Yes. 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 <laughs> that is so, never gets old. I've been waiting for this all year. I'm sure you guys have to, to see wipers on live scope eat like that and just look at him down there still look at him awesome so glad i was able to get that he was looking at it looking at it looking at it looking at it and he finally just ate it when it was dead stick good one too oh that's a big one that's a big one probably the biggest one yet honestly maybe i don't know they're all big he's just fat yeah, barely hooked too. Yes. Sick. Ate it head first, just like you want them to eat a bait. OK, 
came right out real nice. Oh yeah, he's a fatty. Look at that freaking fat starched up Kansas hybrid striped bass. Oh, I've missed you. Nadine, I've missed you. Do you want to tell the folks at home? Hey, I missed you guys too. Now he gets to watch me on live scope eat his jigging wraps. Well, you get to live because wipers are gross and we don't eat them. Let them go, let them grow. A lot of red meat, just don't eat them. Go catch a walleye or a crappie. Oh, that was sick. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was epic. Well guys, go freaking figure. Uh, I tried to clear, like I literally deleted 100 videos off my iPhone earlier so I'd have enough space for this. And within five or six clips, my phone is now full. So when I get on fish, I'm just gonna have to show you from the GoPro as best as possible unfortunately so hope you guys enjoyed those phone clips while they lasted but as long as these fish are still active and biting and around i'm not even going to dick around with trying to do deletion of stuff on my phone to clear up some space so we're just gonna have to make do oh fish on i was just oh god I was literally just about to try and start filming the screen because those fish are sucked down to the bottom right on the channel break. Uh, but <laughs> I saw a fish and I dropped my bait down and I couldn't show you. I'm sorry. But I can still see them down there. I mean, you guys, no, you probably can't even barely see them. They're sucked down to the bottom. It doesn't matter. Let's land this fish first. That's all that matters is catching fish. This one came right off the bottom pinned it down and he is in the net awesome he's off too this is a smaller smallish one they're still super fat still probably a five pounder but he's just not as long but man they all have guts on them boy do they ever i'll try and get that one next time for you guys but sorry sorry i guess i couldn't get that one there's probably still a couple more down there. I've got to adjust my depth range. So one thing you guys always want to do with live scope is always manually adjust the depth that you're fishing. You're going to get a much better picture, much clearer picture. I think there's still a couple down there. It's so hard to tell when they're on the bottom like that. Oh yeah, they're down there. Man, they're spooky. They're swimming all up and down the bottom looking at it and getting spooked and turning around you pretty much got to drop it right on their heads i don't know maybe you guys can see that maybe you can't either way it's tough to tell when they're on the bottom that's why you got to know what you're looking at and stay dialed in let's see if we can get one another one another one. Oh, there he goes <laughs> was gonna show you guys. I think this might be, oh yeah, big white bass, I think. Was that a big white or is it a small wiper? Let's see. That's a, oh my God, dude. That's a giant white bass. That is a giant white bass. Holy mackerel. This is a mega, mega springtime white bass. Definitely not a wiper. He's a little bit more short and stout. Holy cripes, that's a big white bass. Let's put him on the tape so you guys have reference here. Put your, oh my goodness, 17 and a half inch white bass. Is he 17, oh, almost, oh, there we go. 17 and a half inch white bass, huge white bass. I can tell pretty much just by looking at them, but those wipers have two tongue patches. White bass only have one. You guys probably can't see that either, but you just pretty much know. 17 and a half inch springtime cold water white bass. Unreal. That's the biggest one I've caught on this lake this year because they haven't shown themselves. Here we are really doing it. I'm so happy I was able to come out and get a video because I felt so bad earlier when I did not bring the GoPro and I was not filming and I was hammering fish with my dad. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's all I have to say. Let's get another one. 
Oh wow, look at that. They just shot up everywhere. Right from the bottom, where did they go? Oh, they're over there now. Let's see. Shit. Oh, got him. Got one off the bottom. Got one off the bottom. Holy shit, nobody saw that. Those fish were so glued to the bottom, you couldn't even see them. And then all of a sudden, boom, there was just weight on my line. It is a wiper, a hybrid. It's a high, oh, that's a giant. <laughs> a bottom dwelling, babe. On the wrap of the jig. Sick. I tried to get you guys to be able to see it, but those fish are just so pinned to the bottom over here in this area that you can't even really see them until your fish is on. That's okay. You can see them. That's the point. There we go. Look at that. Look at him. Five and a half, six pounder. All day. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Got him. Picked one right up off that brush pile. Is it a big crappie? Or is it a white? It is a big crappie. So <laughs> I just rolled over a brush pile and I saw that there were uh, like three or four big fish sitting right off the top. I thought they were maybe white bass or wipers or something, but sure enough, there are still random crappies on brush piles. That was cool. I wish I could have shown you that one, but again, those fish eat so fast when you get it right in front of their face, it's like, there's nothing I can do. I think a lot of those uh, bigger fish spooked off, unfortunately. So I don't know if we'll be able to get another one, but yeah, as soon as I got my bait down there, they all kind of freaked out and then one grabbed it right away. So that's cool. Crappies on the jigging wrap on brush piles. Oh my God, there's a fish on. Dicking around with the trolling motor, dicking around with the graph. Oh my god, it's a big walleye. Oh, buddy, you want to talk about it? No, that's a big sauger. You want to talk about a bonus catch right there. That's obviously what I've been catching, but not in this area and not on this bait. Cool bycatch. But yeah, like I said, I was just dicking around with this, that, and the other. Lifted up my bait and there's a big sauger on. He's gonna, oh, whoops. Anyway, there's a big sauger on. He's definitely still alive. He'll be fine, we'll get him back. Sorry, buddy, didn't mean to do that. Got him, got him that time. Oh yeah, that's a big one. He is out of his mind, all over the place. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a heavy one. Just jigging. What are you doing? Oh, just jigging. Jigging, man. Oh, he's not that big. He's heavy, though. Been spoiled. Spoiled today. Look at him. In all of his majesty. Should I grab him? Put a jigging wrap in my hand. He's barely hooked. He might come off. If he comes off, oh well. We've seen a lot of these fish today so far. You wanna do this? You wanna do this? Whoa! Don't shake your head. Don't shake your head. Oh, I just grabbed him. Look at that. Look at that. Sound like Joe Exotic. Look at that big fatty. Fatty. Just a nice Run of your mill, five and a half pounder, six pounder. Can't really tell you guys too much more, except for these fish have kind of migrated off of their suspended uh, situation. And now they're more on the bottom. So not really much I can show you on live scope. I kind of showed you, tried to what they look like on the bottom, but I'm telling you, they suck down to the bottom super, super tight. You may not even see them for a few moments keep jigging they'll get it still still some fish down there on the bottom they're not moving get another one. Oh yeah here we go 
eat. Got him. Oh, I hope you guys saw that. I hope you guys saw that. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a big crappie again. That makes sense. He turned his head so fast and raised up to it vertically like a crappie. That's how we've been fishing them in the river with customers. Uh, with live scope is just searching them out one by one. That's funny. Another awesome bycatch. Oh yeah, this is fun. I was so excited for this. Let's just, you know, fire up the big motor and just cut me right off. Uh, carp. <laughs> Unreal. Come on. Got him. Yes. Finally got one to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Finally got one to go. Finally. They're just sitting there looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. I think that one hit it on the dead stick. I don't know. We'll have to review the footage. Yeah, buddy. That'll be the one to end it on right there. Losing the sunlight. Whatever sunlight there was. My net stuck on things. The fish is still hooked. Get in the net. Get in the net. All right. Good deal. Just had to work them over a little bit. Figure out what they wanted or how they wanted it. I mean, I know what they want. I just figured, can't figure out sometimes how they want it. Here we go. Last one of the day right there. It's been a super, super fun day. I've probably caught 60 of these things since 10.30 this morning. But unfortunately, you guys did not see the first half of that because I did not have my GoPro. But that's why I came back out to try and get some good stuff. First cold water wiper video of the year. The other wiper video you guys saw was in the warm water at the power plant, which is now closed. So I'm happy to see that my friends are back to play. Hopefully they'll stick around. But anyway, it's been super fun. I'm gonna pack it up here and get ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's uh, It's been fun. It's been a really fun day. All right, well, that's gonna do it for us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the actual first time I've been able to do like a real time live scope video for wiper fishing here in Kansas. That's what I've been looking forward to ever since I got live scope. Everything else like crappies and stuff, that's really cool. That's what's really popular. But as far as my game fish go, that's what I'm really looking forward to is the wiper stuff. So today is like literally the first time that I've been able to find these fish or have them show up in their normal haunts all year. But like I said, I was out this morning. Uh, my dad was fishing alongside me. I had him in the boat and he was uh, ripping on them with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage at the beginning from my phone. I try to do what I can uh, with what I've got and I've got one GoPro. So that being said, if you guys want more awesome wiper footage on the live scope make sure you like subscribe and share the videos so that i can potentially make a little bit of money on youtube to buy a second gopro to have uh, glued to my screen so that you guys can see what's going on at all times but as for right now like i said i'm losing daylight and uh, tucker's at home by himself he was out this morning so he's had about enough for today and that's all i've got so again hope you guys enjoyed this one really tried to do everything i could with what i've got but definitely caught a lot of awesome fish so that was fun glad you guys enjoyed it hope you enjoyed it whatever blah 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 time for another white claw thank you guys for watching i will see you on the next one